A very good afternoon and welcome to the Touchline on Y254. My name is Maxwell Wasik. Of course, we're talking matters, putting disciplines both local and beyond until 3 o'clock. Keep it here. And of course, join the conversation at Wasike Maxwell at Touchline Y254 at Y254 channel. Of course, I'm here with Ken Andrew, my guest co-host, and a man who has been ably gracing the show uh, in often times. And Moses Mbudia, we're glad and honored to have him this particular afternoon to talk about beach volleyball the status and development of the sport in the country. So welcome on board. Let's get started. Ken, yeah. how are you doing, man? Yeah, I'm fine. It's been a long week full of uh, fantastic sporting events and I can't wait to dive into them with you. Definitely. Moses, Mazet, for the first time being here, how does it feel? Well, no, long time. How have you been? I'm happy to meet very good friends here with uh, some of them with a very nice goatee. <laughs> And of course, uh, very nice uh, crew people who are with you here, they need to discuss matters beach volleyball. Definitely. Uh, beach volleyball, of course, it was represented in Tokyo during the just concluded Olympics in Japan. How did we fare? Well, it started way back in uh, 2010 when we did decide to lay down some uh, beach court in uh, Nyayo Stadium where we have a beach, uh, the um, hardball court. And we laid down um, the sand from Ukambani and we were able to set up two beach courts which were artificial because we did put a polythene uh, paper. And some of the girls who participated in the year two, 2010 are the girls who represented us in uh, Olympic. But it's a long journey because um, if you look, remember very well in 2011 we had uh, the activity in Maputo where our girls managed the bronze medal. Uh, thereafter, our girls didn't do very well in uh, Congo Brazzaville, but uh, in the year 20, um, um, in the All African Games, they managed a silver medal, and now God gave us uh, the gold medal during uh, the uh, African qualifier for Olympics, and our girls in Al Gadil managed position one in 54 country in Africa. How has it been like since it was introduced? I know it's a new sport with new dynamics, intricacies, uh, plenty of them involved in making it better and making it grow in the country. I've seen an initiative being launched to take it to the county level in partnership with secondary schools. How is the progress so far? Well, I can say that it has been received very well purely because the girls did manage to go to the Olympics. And people here are like, oh, beach volleyball is an Olympic sport. And um, quite a number of uh, young ones, old ones, the middle-aged, they are all eager to join this game. And uh, I can tell you, the primary school, the secondary school, uh, the colleges, and even uh, the other members of the Convection of Volleyball, they are willing to join uh, the beach volleyball. You've asked a question that needs an, a very direct answer. How has it been received? Very positively by quite a number. The Governor Nyeri, uh, Edward Kahiga, has said he wants to start up a beach court. This morning, we had a conversation with uh, uh, His Excellency, the Governor of Nyandarwa, who did say that he wanted to start it yesterday. We have talked to the Chairman of uh, Kenya Primary School Sports Association in Nyeri, wanted to start it yesterday. Talked to the sports officer in Makweni, Mr. Kisoi, and uh, he says that he doesn't have to start a beach uh, court because he's breast with sun in uh, the dry valleys of uh, some of the rivers that we have in Ukambani. So we are saying, also in Nyanza, we have it in uh, Sindo Bay, where the governor and uh, the management of sports in um, Homabe County, they want to set up uh, a beach court and at the same time too have a tournament or what we call in, uh, in um, the language of beach as the, the beach circuit. So we want to start with the beach circuit in Homabe in one of the uh, beach that we have near, uh, in Bita called Sindo Bay. Ken, as a sportsman yourself, as a footballer, do you think the margins of these new sporting disciplines will thrive in the country. Do you think it's high time now Kenyans give them much needed backing and support if they have to get to another level? Yeah, I think that, that's always needed. Uh, in proper investment and proper backing is always needed in w whichever sport one may be participating in. And uh, something like beach volleyball, which uh, not many Kenyans have access to right now, and many even might have watched it for the first time during the Olympics. It, it really needs to be put out there for young people who are still growing energetic to try and go into this sport. Yeah. And uh, also for a question from Budhya, um, many have watched the Tokyo Olympic, the, the, the beach volleyball at that time, and uh, were able to see that the, the, the players involved in the size of the pitch or arena was different from the conventional volleyball. And uh, will you tell us whether the rules are different or it's just uh, those two? 
Well, to answer your question directly, we have uh, the beach coat is about uh, 8 by 8 meters. And um, the other thing that we have in the beach volleyball is you must have, um, I mean, um, a well-netted uh, string that marks the field because you cannot use a white watch in, in the field itself. And then antenna, uh, the other things are the same, including the height and, uh, um, but maybe something different that you might have noted is that uh, the kind of attire that our men and women put on small enough to cover the subject but long enough to allow the interest but uh, this is not for the tv and uh, this has really attracted very many people this is why the game is also associated with the tourism and that's why the hotel industry they are willing to start we have um, a Strathmore university they have started they have a beach court we have uh, hotels like panari in Nyahururu. they want to start we have uh, the Nyahururu lodge they also want to start we have uh, elmia hotel in yandarwa they also want to start and very many hotel industry. We also have uh, the Paradise Roast here in Kiambu. They want to set up a beach court that is the international standard where we might even end up having a continental circuit in there because the manager is willing to start it yesterday. And uh, so we are saying a bit of difference because of the attire, the field itself is sad, and that's why we call it the beach, uh, beach volleyball. You also noted that in Japan, they did not go to the coastal strip. They were inland. So they can also be played in the, in the, in the Ladlock country, so to speak. You only need to import sad. And uh, once you have sad, you are good to go. Okay. Wow, that's nice to hear. So in terms of partnership and collaboration with the existing crop of, you know, volleyballers, Kenyan has done very well in volleyball, especially when it comes to Malkia strikers, though in Japan we didn't perform very well as expected. I don't know, how has it been like in terms of reaching to the local stars to ensure that we popularize the game? Well, there's always been a conflict between the coaches because uh, they don't want to release their best uh, players into the beach uh, volleyball because they fear that they might uh, get some injuries and, um, and this has taken us as a commission, a beach volleyball commission, it has taken us a lot of energy to convince the team manager and the coaches to transform these people from uh, convectional volleyball to beach volleyball. What we have done now, we have separated the two. We have the convectional volleyball played up to the month of uh, August. Then the remaining month until we have the new season, we have the, the beach volleyball being played. And that's what happens internationally. So there is that um, uh, plan where we have, we accommodate everyone. But we would also like to start from zero. We would like to have the primary school start this game. And uh, by the time they come up, they'll be beach volleyballers, not convectional, come beach. So these are some of the things that we're doing as a commission. Um, Sammy Moringe, who started a bit earlier than me, we have uh, Patrick Owino doing a good job. We also have uh, our pioneer, Madam Patricia uh, Scott, who started it very well and it depicts, and that's why we are proud of what we are doing now because of those pioneers of yesteryears. When you are off uh, behind the uh, mics, you are talking about the availability of BJs. Uh, has it been like in terms of ensuring that they are available where uh, players can train from and ensure that they perfect their art? I will tell you today that uh, Kenya we have a problem because we do not have uh, um, public beaches. And if they are there, they are very few. And uh, you and I know that in Baburi, uh, uh, Baburi, um, you call it what? The pirates. Yes. They, even if you go set up a beach court there, you will have a nightmare because there are so many people. So we are saying one of our, our, our bottleneck is that we do not have uh, many public beaches in Kenya. We have more of our private beaches than the public beaches. Unlike a country like Morocco, and like a country like Brazil that are doing very well. And uh, I would urge the government to think of uh, setting aside a number of uh, beach courts uh, or very many public uh, beaches along the coastal region. And uh, this way, we shall be able to achieve a lot. You go to Brazil, everybody has the access of the beach. Everybody in Al Gadil, in, I mean, uh, in uh, Rabat, in Casablanca, in Delta Town, they all access the beach. And so you can even start your own beach court without even the federation, unlike Kenya. Okay. And uh, another question, um, Kenya conquered Africa uh, with, uh, with, uh, little, with no beaches at all, with no private beaches as you've been saying, and if they are to be installed right now, built right now, how far will, do you think the Kenya beach volleyball teams will be from conquering uh, 
other countries of the world, not just Africa. First, we have to create the interest. So we may have even those public pitches and then nobody wants the game. Mm -hmm. So first, we have to make sure that we remain at the top, the tempo, we raise the tempo up to that level and uh, we create that awareness. And then the people will be interested. Those who are not very good in uh, convection of volleyball, case in point is uh, Kaundentia Makoa. She has not been doing very well in the convection of volleyball, but when she comes to beach volleyball, you realize that she's now a superstar. And so what we are saying here is we create the awareness, we try to inject the interest, and there, once we have the interest, this one becomes like a kasuba. And so when it is, takes shape, everybody will be interested in the game. And uh, through that, we might not only conquer Africa like we've done, but we might end up conquering the world. So there is a likelihood that, uh, you know, a player who has been playing uh, another kind of volleyball conventional, if he or she tries beach, they might realize that they are better in beach than what they have been doing before. Yes, one of our captain, uh, if you can remember, Dasaba. Dasaba yes. was the one who represented us in Maputo, all African games. Indakala was the captain of a telecom team. He's the one who represented us in Maputo. So you realize if you are good in convectional, you can transform yourself and come and play beach volleyball. The Black City Zagara was, uh, in 2019, was the most valuable player in uh, our convectional volleyball. And so when she did not fit in uh, the national team, I quickly, and I must uh, uh, blow my own trumpet here, uh, convinced her and she came to beach volleyball. And she ended up with the other girls in Tokyo. Well, so uh, Ken, yeah. you know there has been a talk of existence of briefcase federations and sporting disciplines. I'm sure this beach volleyball will not be mentioned <laughs> <laughs> in that particular sentence. And when it comes to international championship, we've had a situation where, you know, a lot of federations come in public domain now pushing for government support, funding, uh, to participate. But before that, you'll never hear of such. Mm -hmm. I know beach volleyball <laughs> is not, <laughs> is an exemption. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I, I think you have said it, and uh, we cannot hide away from the truth. There are quite a number of uh, briefcases, uh, I mean, uh, federations. Beach volleyball is not a federation by itself. It is under the umbrella of Kenya Volleyball Federation. I am the chairman of the Beach Volleyball Commission. Yes. And, of course, seconded there by the national executive of uh, Kenya Volleyball Federation. And so the, the 13 members sat down and found that the Budhya is uh, fit to head the department of the beach volleyball. So it is not a federation by itself. It is under the umbrella of Kenya Volleyball Federation. But if it, even if it was a, I mean, um, a federation by itself, you and I know that we have now become Olympians by virtue of taking those girls to the Olympics. So it can also be independent. If it was independent, it cannot be described as a briefcase. <laughs> Let's talk about volleyball, the status of volleyball in the country and uh, by the virtue of your position as Kenya Volleyball Federation, Nairobi branch chairman, what do you think about the game? Are we getting to another level when it comes to growth and development of the sport? I must start by thanking Professor Chiang of uh, um, Strathmore University because he came up with the initiative and started a beach court. And after that, we have been having our circuit in uh, uh, Strathmore University in the, in, in, the, in, the, in the interior, in the inland. And uh, after that, we are thinking of now establishing very many other beach courts. You have seen for the last two weeks, I'm all over the country with the permission of the Beach Volleyball Commission. With a few balls that I have, I'm able to donate that to, those, um, to those, uh, um, those who want to start, like the Graceland uh, Secondary School like uh, Nyandarwa County, like uh, primary school in Nyeri, like uh, Makweni, and uh, also we are going to donate some to uh, Homabi County. So in this case now, we are saying we are, are moving together. What we are lacking in the facilities, but we shall get them. There are quite a number of people now who are calling us. How can we help you? What can we do? Because they have seen what we are capable of doing. Um. Is, is the Beach Volleyball League in Kenya or Nairobi existent and how far, how far is it from being a top league and uh, are there many teams who are subscribed to this uh, Beach Volleyball despite the lack of venues and uh, arenas? In, in, in Beach Volleyball, we no longer call it a league per se. We refer to it as a beach circuit. Oh. 
it's a kind of circuit. You play in one area, you go to another region, you go. You know, and uh, in the international world, you used to have what you call the SWAT circuit. And uh, this circuit must be homologated. They must be recognized by the international body that is the A5EB. If you do one at Nyayo or at uh, Strathmore, it must be um, it must be uh, sanctioned, must be given a go ahead by the international body. That way, even when selecting uh, the, the the Olympic team, all those circuits will count. All those circuits will count. That is why when the Kenya team went to Cape Verde and did very well, they were never number one because they had not participated in those homologated uh, circuits. So it is a very uh, mm, different game from the others. It is not about that uh, game, the final game. It is about what you have done in the far past. Tanzanians are very good at that. They've been doing it in Dar Islam quite a number of times. Our team before leaving for uh, Morocco, uh, they went to Dar Islam and they did very well. They emerged as number one, both men and women. And so Uganda, they also have um, the beach court in uh, Entebbe. And Rwanda, they have very nice beach uh, in uh, Selena in uh, Lake Kivu. So these are some of the these are, are some of our competitors who are doing very well because of uh, having the homologated beach circuits. And uh, we, we, we know that the beach volleyball has picked up heat, uh, especially in Kenya, especially during the Olympics. People have learned about the players and everything, and uh, maybe an interest has been created of, as to uh, whether they can watch it on TV. Is it available on TV yet, or uh, it's still being worked on? Yes, if you Google beach volleyball, you realize from uh, the Olympics, London Olympics, uh, this thing started gaining momentum in the world. And uh, the viewership of uh, beach volleyball in the continent, and of course in, uh, in the world, is very high. If you look at the number of people viewing the beach volleyball, you'll be shocked. Like just before the Olympics, we had uh, the beach circuit in uh, Switzerland. The number of viewers were very many, where the Brazilians won. And uh, so what I want to say that there are so many people interested, not just playing, but also viewing the game. I've said if you look at them, you realize that um, they are attire, they are attractive, so to speak. If you want to advertise through uh, beach volleyball, you realize that uh, you can easily see where the markings are. And it is for that reason that we have got very many people getting interested in the beach volleyball. Yeah, and uh, yeah, you said uh, there's the artificial venue where someone just creates it uh, indoors in landlocked countries. And there's also the, the beach where it's at the coast, the sun hits on everyone. And uh, is there a method of protection against the sun? Because again, the attires are smaller. Uh, have the girls or the guys come up with methods of protection against too much sun when they're playing at the coast? Yes, we have very special capes that are used by the beach volleyballers because of the sun. Uh, the, 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 the sun, that is one. Two, you realize that there are special goggles that are they use, are very special. We also have special socks, which are more or less like shoes, that are used by the beach volleyballers. So they don't hurt their body. And I don't think, because of um, what the sad has uh, undergone through in, uh, in your geography, if you can remember, the, um, the, 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 the breakdown of sad into smaller particles through attrition, through solution, the particles are very small that they cannot even hurt a, a fly. So in that case, we don't expect our, our, our players to be hurt because they are not pembers. They are not big pembers. It is fine sand. Yes. Your, your passion for the sport, for volleyball in general, has been overwhelming. Can we say that, you know, uh, with the crop and the margins of other uh, sportsmen and women who are passionate about volleyball, when you leave the scene, do you have proper replacement coming up? Well, yes, we can be in this thing forever. I'm now over 55 years and uh, we must be able to... I mean, bring up other people who have uh, the passion of the game. And I want to say here and now, I have even recruited very many members who are supposed to take over from me. Uh, not, that I'm, not that I'm going anywhere, anyway. But uh, I can watch it from the, uh, from the, uh, the background and, uh, I mean, advise accordingly as a patron. But I want to say that I have been able to bring up other people. And one problem that is actually hitting us is the problem of the refereeing. We only have one referee in Kenya of beach volleyball. 
and uh, I've negotiated with the president of uh, the continental body, Madame Bushra from Morocco, and soon and very soon we shall host um, a major clinic where we shall have uh, the volleyballers go into the clinic for referring. Coaches, we have quite a number. We have Arima, we have uh, uh, the gentleman Gideon, coach of uh, prison. We have Joroge, we have uh, Muringe, we have uh, Oino, we have Sila. You can see we have more than five, seven um, coaches. But for the referee, we only have one man from Kitui by the name Nzenga. He's the only qualified beach, uh, beach referee. How has been the support uh, from the government and even Kenya Volleyball Federation, which is a pioneer uh, association? I know much, I must say. For example, we were funded fully when our boys and girls went to Dar es Salaam by NOC. Uh, we were funded fully with a tune of about 1.5 million when we went to Al Gadil. Um, the uniform they have been able to buy for us uh, because they are not easily available in the local market. And, uh, but the whole initiative lies with the chairman of the Beach Volleyball Commission. I cannot sit down there and keep lamenting that we are not being funded. Yet we have 1,001 people here who want to support the game Beach Volleyball. So in the next few years, are we, uh, are we becoming a giant, a heavyweight in Beach Volleyball as a sport? Watch this space. Watch That's this space. That's I can tell you, yes. Can maybe your last <laughs> question to Mbude before he exits the stage? Yeah, my, my last question will be about uh, the development process or uh, the ages. You know, uh, sports like football and basketball, you, if you want to go on and be a professional, you have to start from the youngest of ages. And uh, there might be someone who's watching and is 24, 25 years and would want to start a uh, beach volleyball. Uh, how, will, how much progress will they make? Unlike swimming, beach volleyball, you can use a best swimmer will be up to the age of 27. Beach volleyball, and a case in point is what we had in Maputo 2011. Madam Indakala was uh, 41 years, yet she participated and won a bronze medal. In fact, very many volleyballers from the convection of volleyball, they can graduate and come to beach volleyball. But that does not again mean that we cannot have young ones starting and hitting even those old ones. So it is a game that you can incorporate both old, middle age, and uh, the I mean, and the young ones. So in a nutshell, what I'm saying is uh, this is an open field where we can have everybody on board. Your parting shots, your final words, what do you promise those who are passionate about beach volleyball? Are you getting to, you know, s uh, every secondary school level to uh, county's partnership with them to ensure that we popularize and make the sport grow? I would rather look at it holistically. And um, first, I have to convince the PS, the Ministry of Education, to accommodate this game in both primary and secondary. If I sell my idea and it is bought, it will be very easy now to sell this game at that level. And remember, that's our reservoir for very many other sports. And so once we have that, I mean, we have that uh, through the people that I've mentioned, and of course the other stakeholders, like the Secretary General of Secondary School, the Chairman, Mr. Orero, and uh, the Executive uh, Officer, Mr. Muturi, once we convince them and tell them, yes, we have now won the Africa and we have gone to the Olympics, please allow us to have this game in secondary. It can start in a small way. And when we have that, this will be um, a story to tell in future. Together with the university, Mr. Babu, the chairman of KUSA, and the other members like Were in uh, the Rift Valley, we shall try to incorporate all of them. Because this is not about an individual. It's about uh, that ownership uh, by all. And then the hotel industry, they take advantage because of tourism. Finally, I would like you to sign that because uh, this is the ball that we have, the dummy one, for receiving the team back in Kenya. And uh, this is uh, there. Beach it, 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 looks like, it looks like there is plenty of signatures here. <laughs> Everybody, and, uh, most we of have iconic people must have gotten have the commissioner, opportunity to. We have everybody signing, and so why not you? Definitely, it will be an honor for me to sign, <laughs> and Ken as well. So, oh, what was the signature for? What was the well? We intention? were welcoming. We were welcoming these girls back, and we shall have it in our office of the beach volleyball office, where we shall have it there, and in remembrance of what our girls did in the year 2021, though the games were 2020. Definitely. Of course, we've been here with Moses Mbudia, Chairman Kenya uh, Beach Volleyball Commission, uh, talking to us and joining us this particular afternoon to share his thoughts on the development and status of beach volleyball in Kenya. He says the sport 
as some futuristic ambition and he hopes that you know partnership with counties and uh, reaching it uh, amongst secondary schools will enable the sport grow and get to another level thank you Mbudia, for coming through always a pleasure thank you sir i appreciate we're taking a short break we will be back next <sighs> i hope it's just like